Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. So I wanted to put this video out, which I'm just turning into a voice over. It's a new thing I'm doing. Get with the program. Um, so I just wanted to talk about a few things, including why I am leaving the commentary community and why the commentary community is trash. There's a multitude of reasons, including some people within the commentary community that I no longer support or understand in the slightest. But I just wanted to talk about a few different things. One being, if you make commentary videos about somebody, people call you a bully. There's no thing about constructive criticism or this, that and everything else. But if people say, okay, everyone agrees with what this person is saying in the comment sections, their, their likes to dislike ratio, so on and so forth, you know, say that they're right, it's you're creating an echo chamber. So you can't, you're fucked either way. You're fucked either way. No matter what you do within the commentary community, you are fucked. Now, another thing is people that do commentary, pastel bell wants to talk about commentary all day, every day, but she's out here attacking people for the ugly side of mental health, the ugly side of things that she doesn't want to see, but, and wants to make this big hoo-ha about why these, all these people shouldn't be on the internet. But then if you talk about pastel bell, it's harassment, it's harassment, it's bullying, it's unnecessary, it's this, it's that, but she can talk about everybody else. So how does that make any sense? Grayson's Project, big fan of Grayson. They have a channel that is commentary amongst other things. They had their own uh, sort of drama happen within their community. I wanted to cover it. Did not ask permission, do not need to ask for permission, but was told when I asked them for their opinion or their statement or anything that they wanted to say, mind you, the video was going to be sticking up for Grayson and their community, but instead Grayson said that they didn't want a video made about them or this situation. Okay, so you make all of your revenue off the internet, on YouTube, so you do that full time for a living talking about other people and their controversies, but no one can talk about your controversies even if they're talking about it in the way that it's sticking up for you. Can you tell me how that makes any sense whatsoever? You make video after video after video about Katie Joy. No one says anything. You make a couple of videos about one person that you have an issue within, um, you know, on the platform. You're a bully. You cannot win with commentary. You cannot win. And I understand it's not about winning or whatever else. But what what like what are people getting out of it? So if I talk about creep show art and how I have a problem with her commentary, right? <clears throat> I have people in my comment sections of my video telling me, well, why are you talking about other people? Well, why does she have 500 thousand subscribers whilst talking about other people what the heck is going on do you know what I mean like none of this makes any fucking sense to me whatsoever and it's not that I'm having a meltdown it's not that I'm feeling um offended by any of this because I'm not this is like this is just me saying that from now on it makes no sense for me to go further with commentary because it is by far the most exhausting, hypocritical, contradictory community on the internet. I would much rather watch 75 cooking videos or someone cleaning their carpet than having any sort of discussion about another content creator in regards to making a critique video, criticism video, hate video, anything along the lines of that because people just get upset about everything. Now, in 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 saying all of this, I have gone on 
a multitude of people's videos. I'm on YouTube constantly. I have seen um, many a people have very vast opinions on different things. And I love that. But when you are a, a commentary channel, getting upset when someone makes commentary on you, I'm confused by that. Because it because it's it, it's one thing if someone is so when I had videos made about me in implying me to be some sort of way in ganging up on somebody. I had no issue with that. I had to go and clarify it, and that's fine. But when you are a commentary channel and you want to stop any sort of public um critique on you and you cry about it or you say I don't want a video made or um <clears throat> emailing other creators saying do not make videos about me so you can make videos about others but no one can make videos about you make that make sense none of that makes any fucking sense to me so I feel as though commentary has just become lazy content, hasn't it? In the way that are you sitting in front of a camera critiquing someone else's work, but have you put any work out there? So if I was to put my a true crime podcast out and someone wanted to critique that by saying, well, she doesn't speak properly. She rambles too much. She's a mess. She's, you know, inconsistent with her uploads and all these sorts of things. Tell me why anyone should give a shit what you have to say when you have not gone on your platform and created your own podcast. That is an example, by the way. I'm not saying anyone's done that because no one's done that, thankfully. And if they do, so be it. It's the internet. But it's just an example. Drama channels, commentary channels, tea channels that aren't giving you the news and aren't putting everything into, you know, like we would with magazines back in the day, putting in a nice little neat box. You watch your 10 minutes, you know what's going on in the community. That's fine. I find that is fine, that is fine, that is fine, that's what we all need. But for someone to post a 45-minute video ragging on somebody, I just don't think it's my cup of tea. Especially because you look at these people in the commentary community and for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, we, we, we take their opinions so seriously. Even in my past videos where I've done commentary, I've taken my own opinion so seriously. It doesn't fucking matter because the second that these people have opinions made on them, they cry about it. They don't want that to happen, but they can do it with, with, with everybody else. I have no issues with people making videos about each other, but if you're a commentary channel that does not want commentary put on you, then you're a hypocrite. But this probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but... I just want to get that off my chest because it's been bugging me. It's been bugging me. How can you be a commentary channel and act this way? Why don't you go put some actual content out? And I'm not speaking about your full-on exposés of people. I'm not talking that. And if you can't dis like distinguish between those two things that I'm trying to say, can't help you. Not here to help you. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm sick of people's shit. I'm sick of people's shit. Had enough of it. Me dog's snoring. Can you hear her? And I hope that's fireworks and not gunshots. But anyway, I'm going to go. Stop rambling now. And I want everyone to have a beautiful day, beautiful night, beautiful everything. Remember to like, subscribe, dislike, comment, share, send a pigeon, wash your hair, I don't know, 
Feed your pets, take your meds, have a beautiful day. Adios, bye-bye.